Breaking the Wall of Brain Repair, Vinny Gautam, Australian National University, Canberra. Imagine forgetting all the memories of your families and your loved ones after having a brain injury. Well, our brain indeed is one of the most important and one of the most complex organs in the body. And that's because it controls everything that we do in our daily lives, whether it's how we see, how we move, or even how we remember things. Our brain does all of this function with the help of cells called neurons, which are connected in a particular order within the brain, as you can see in the figure on your left. The neurons form what we call neural networks or neural circuits. So when our brain gets damaged due to an injury or a disease, it is these neural networks which get damaged and disrupted. Now, unlike other cells in the body, neurons not just have to grow after they have been disrupted and damaged, they also have to form specific connections with each other to form the neural network back again. Unfortunately, there are no treatments available to guide the neurons and for, to form these connections again. And people are left with all sorts of disabilities, whether it's loss of vision, loss of movement, or even loss of memories of their loved ones after brain damage. In my research, I am using a unique interdisciplinary approach to address this challenge. What I am creating is using engineering and technology, I'm creating three-dimensional scaffolds. These scaffolds are special because they would mimic the physical and chemical properties of the brain down to the nanoscale. So when these scaffolds will be implanted into the brain, they would patch the damaged area by guiding the neurons to form connections with each other, just like they were in a healthy state. Now, I already have started making these scaffolds in my laboratory, and I'm growing neuron cells on top of them to see if this idea actually works. And what I'm going to show you next is to convince you that this idea can actually work. So in this image, I'm showing you a single neuron sitting on top of my scaffold. The scaffold has nanoscale features on top of it, and the neuron is taken out from a brain. And as you can see, the connections coming out of this neuron are connect coming out in straight lines. Now, what happens when we zoom out to not one, but multiple neurons? You see that even multiple neurons within a neural network are being able to guide and form connections within a cell. So with this, I aim to break the wall of brain repair and brain damage by engineering neural circuits down to the nanoscale. 